All right, friends, dinner, oh, lunch is served right here. Look at that. Mm. Sarah. Hello Hang here. on, wait. What's going on, y'all? So we are on a little adventure this morning. I got my buddy Yak Motley right there beside me. And uh, as requested from you guys, we're going to walk out here to the beach and uh, catch us some sand fleas. I know that is a unique thing to take home and eat. Have you ever eaten one? No, I haven't. I'm thinking it's going to taste like popcorn. I think so too, man. Yeah. I'm thinking they're going to be good. And we got uh, really good weather for it. We got cameraman Ron. He uh, He's going to come out here in a little bit. So he's going to be one of our taste testers. So you know that's going to be funny. Got our sand flea rake right there. And then we've got our bucket right there. We're going to try to fill that bucket up. I think so too. We got a pretty long walk because the uh, the beach is just covered with fishermen. The beach is right over the top of those dunes right there and there's probably a surf fisherman every 20 yards man it is just flat covered with them we're gonna have to walk way down here past the surf fisherman beach is looking good this morning got quite a bit of surf though <clears throat> and a ton of surf fishermen they are just everywhere we finally found a clear stretch of beach right here where we can actually look where there's no surf fishermen and so i'm hoping that there's going to be a bunch of sand fleas here because we would like to like to get a bucket full man there's a ton of grass on the beach this looks like uh, sargasm and so if you uh, know anything about sargasm it's what you see us uh, fishing weed lines offshore and so this is what you're gonna find your mahi and stuff on when you're offshore fishing. Me and Brian love to see this stuff. Guys, what I like to do is I like to watch when the waves rush out like that, a lot of times you can either see them or you can see the little holes where they're burying. And so we're just gonna kinda watch for them right here. It's pretty rough today. Oh, I think I see them right there. Oh yeah. That's gonna be them. So guys, I just saw probably 30 or 40 of these guys right in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Check that out. Those are good ones too. Real nice ones. Let's put those in the bucket. That went a little bit quicker than fishing, dude. How long did that take about? Like, as soon as we got here? As soon like, as we got here. Fourth stab, maybe? Oh, I, ju I, may I just missed them. They scurried past my uh, rake. I still see them right here though. Hold on. All right, we got some pretty nice ones there. Nice, nice. Those are uh, very, very healthy sand fleas. Look at the size of them. And there's a ton more right here. Let me throw these in the bucket real quick. All right, there's still like a ton right here and you can see them. And you know what's also cool about this is uh, there's a bunch of them. What I, what I don't cook, I'll use for bait. Ah, they came out. They're coming out. They're getting out. Oh. <laughs> I got a few. Look at those bad boys. Woo. Big old biggins. They're all the same size right here. They're, uh, it's like we have not caught one single small one, which is really cool. Yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah, those are good size ones. We're going to see if Yak can get one now. Ready for the champ, baby. What do you think, dude? Have you ever uh, raked them before? Uh, yeah, a little bit, not a lot. 
So you're going to want to want to really look for them. You got so you did find the little one. So Yak's first dig, he got a whole different. Oh, they're falling out of the ah. net. They're so small. Hey, get credit. Look for at them. those little babies. Yeah, that's just like little pieces of popcorn. Yeah. We're gonna toss them back since we already have digging. You know, fun fact: if for all of you uh, people just visiting the beach, the sand flea rake right here is a great way to get seashells as yeah. well so like if you're just if you're not a fisherman but you want to go seashell hunting that sampley ray is the ticket <laughs> that's actually a little no you got two oh look you got a uh look at this one look at that one we're definitely cooking him that's oh a, yeah it's like megazoid look at that little guy right there you that's got a, some diggers this oh look that guy's got a pompano i think down there yep he sure did yeah i just caught a pompano um, if you're new to surf fishing, these sand fleas are phenomenal bait. So you can pick you one of these up at like any of the local bait and tackle shops and do what we're doing here, you got your bait. And so uh, we use a lot of these sand fleas uh, on, our, uh, on our little surf fishing adventures here. And they're, it, you, anything eats them. Pompano, redfish, black drum, sheep's head, you name it. Oh yeah, there's some. Got, some. Got them. Yeah. Nice. You know, these are a little different. These are a little smaller, but still perfect bait size right there. And you know, I like again when you're looking for these sand fleas, I like to visibly see them, and it definitely helps to have polarized glasses because it takes the glare off the water. And so, when the waves coming in, just like this, I can see them. If I were to take these glasses off, I wouldn't be able to, I, I, I can still see them, but not nearly as good. We have got a straight pile of nice ones in here, folks. I'm digging it. That's what we came for. All right, y'all, we're gonna head to Cameraman Ron's right now, and we're gonna cook these sand fleas up. Man, this is gonna be interesting. I brought lunch. No, that's the bait bucket. Where's lunch? <laughs> that is going to be lunch, man. So I'm assuming I already know the answer to the poll. <laughs> you, I, you did see the poll on the channel. I did because somebody, a Bamba Beach Bomb, sent me a screenshot saying, hey, did you know there's a poll on the Angler Up channel today? But what he failed to mention was his his vote was highlighted in blue, <laughs> which was a sand flea catch and cook. So I guess here we yeah. are. I'm assuming that's what's in the bucket. That's it, man. Look at him. Golly, those are some giant sand fleas. Those are big ones. They are nice and washed up right here, ready to go. And we're getting the pan hot right over here. And so uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a few in cornmeal, but then we're gonna do some natural and just some seasoning. All right, we're gonna get some peppers going in here first. Just to, uh, we just wanna flavor up that oil a little bit. And I love bell peppers. All right, and so we're gonna let those cook for a bit. Once it gets super hot, we're gonna throw them fleas in there. We've got some with cornmeal, some with just a little bit of seasoning, and we have been letting them soak over there for about 20 minutes in that water. And so I'm also gonna put these in as well. We're just gonna have a sand flea party right here. <laughs> it's a sand flea party. Got our taste testers here. We've got Sarah, Ron, Yak, Motley. I'm excited, man. This is uh, this is gonna be good. Little salt and pepper. Go ahead and dump the rest of them in here. If we had some hot peppers. We'd be rocking. Yeah, we do need some hot peppers. Honestly, I really think. Do we have any pepper. like pepper flakes or anything? Nah, I mean it, it's it'll be fine, but it would be better with some jalapenos. There we go, folks. Check that out. We're going to let them cook for just a bit. You don't need to let these guys cook too long. Sarah, what are you? I know you're an adventurous eater. Are you excited? I'm nervous, but excited. I think it's going to taste really good. Okay. Well, we've got, we've got Ron who's scared. 
Sarah is wait, excited. Wait, wait. No, don't, don't just like roll on past. you got to give a little context. They're I'm, about ready. I'm, they're just I'm about ready. I'm allergic to shellfish, and this is starting to look more and more like a shellfish. This is, they're just about ready. So for those of you just joining us, yesterday on this guy's YouTube channel, he put out a poll and asked what the subscribers would like to see next. And of course, Ron eating sand fleas was the winning vote. These bad boys are donezo here, folks. Look at that. But how do you know they're done? Like, Look at Ron questioning it. They, they just are. For one, it doesn't take very long to cook them. They just, did you hear that? They just are. Like, Star. he's never cooked them before, but they well, just are. It's like with shrimp. If they're pink, they're done. <sighs> yeah. right? Rule of thumb, y'all. Yeah, I'm not scared. Look at these, Sarah. Also, there'll be a disclaimer in the bottom of this delicious. video. So they actually, oh, they look actually at, do look delicious. Look at that. Here we go. All right, friends. Dinner, or lunch, is served right here. Look at that, and that does not look too bad. You know what's interesting about these, or these are jumbos. These are them big ones, okay? And uh, who, wants to, uh, who wants to go first and do the honors? Landon? Y'all know who, who. Oh, we know who That's needs to go first. You can grab a small one. How about that? Get a crunchy one. Now, what technique are you going for? And you're sure you're supposed to eat the shell? Yeah. You're down supposed to just down the hatch, man. Just gotta put the whole thing in there and just start crunching. Yeah, but we don't know if I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, taste-wise, it's not terrible. It's you're eating a shell in your mouth, though. It is so it is a little crunchy, but taste-wise, it's not terrible. It's it's still not as bad as the raw micro. Okay, not even close. Okay, hmm. Sarah, hang okay. on, wait. Do I go small or big? No, go big, like that one right there. I Grab a honker. And just, just, it doesn't matter. Whole yeah. thing. And you just, ooh, that's kind of like me. Just eat half of it. Eat what is, is that okay? Oh, it, that's a breaded one. That's, that's a, a breaded one. one. That's a big one. No joke, that is delicious. I mean, I, the flavor was not bad. I mean, you're, you're eating a shell, but the flavor wasn't bad. I mean, if every fish out there the likes it, it's got to be good. pretty good. Yeah, I mean... Being in the crab family, you know they're gonna be good. All right. All right, dude. You right, ready? Come on, Landon. Go for it, dude. One bite, my friend. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Oh, wow. Down the hatch like a champ. He ate the whole thing. Like a champ. You're a boss, dude. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> like a, it, it took it like a oh champ, gosh. though. Spit it out. Y'all gotta shoot Landon a thumbs up for taking it like a boss. Is it hot? <laughs> All right, dude. I am so you don't even know how out of character that is for him. Like, Here's dead Sarah. serious? No. I'm not That's him. not something he does. That's like I am so proud of you right now. All seriously. right, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do it with a pepper though. Mm. Oh yeah, top it off with a pepper. A lot of flavor. I mean, I was actually shocked at how much flavor. So yeah, that has that is crab. That is cr just a uh, very flavorful bite-sized crab that you can eat the whole shell and everything. That's awesome. I am not upset about that one bit. And these peppers, pretty darn good as well. Jack, man, I feel like I need a little one with a pepper and a little hot sauce. You but... okay, Bubba? Jack, throw one struggle. down the hatch, dude. All right, it's a little shake. I'm a little nervous right now. I'm not gonna lie. Listen to the crunch. You can hear it. It's a flavorful crab, is what it is. Once you get past the uh, crunchiness, it's not bad at all. No, like it's good. the crunchiness goes away real quick. It was a weird. Not bad. I eat that. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Catch and cook sand flea. So if you enjoyed that video, you want to see more catch and cook, shoot us a thumbs up. We enjoy doing stuff like this, getting together with friends, taste testing unique stuff that not everybody tastes on a daily basis. And sand flea is one of them. So uh, if you like that video, please, please let us know at the comment section below. Other than that, hope each and every one of you have a great week.